So remember when I got everybody to start growing um, their own herbs at home, right? Well, so ta -da, this is the basil. Nice hay. Okay. So with that, I thought I'd do something pretty easy that it it's going to be a cold pasta with tomato and basil, fresh. So we're going to start with this first. Sam with I three tomatoes. So when you're at home, be careful, guys. So what we're going to do is dice this, chop it. You can do it any way you want. Um, you know, some people, uh, I kind of like to cut it big, like to cut it small. Some people tomatoes. And you can hear my dog in the background because as if I'm in the kitchen, well, actually, if I want to see how pretty you are, that Because once you set it with a little bit of um, vinegar, it's gonna, the juices are going to come out. So for me, it's kind of like, you know when you, do, when you see Greek salads, they're not really uniform chopped? That's kind of what I like. I'm going to leave all that They can side heat up down. You have a tongue salad. So for me, because I can't really eat raw tomatoes, I'm a little, I have a little bit of an allergy to the skin. I don't know if other people have the same thing. But this one, because you soak it in vinegar for some time, it kind of helps you through the acidity on that. Helps you uh, break that down a little bit first. So as you can see, the tomatoes are juicy. Okay. Notice I don't waste anything to cut all the way around the top. Then you need to cut about one cup of onions. So I cut part of it already here. And it's purple onions because they're a little bit sweeter, right? Whatever you feel like. Some people like big ones, some people like it more raw, some people like it sweeter, less pungent. Come on, we you separate them. So that when you soak it in the vinegar, you can add it to, when you soak it in the vinegar, it's, the flavor goes through it more. So these are shallots, you need these. Because I had shallots laying around. So you kind of improvise, okay? There's nothing wrong with improvising. So it's about a one cup of onions or shallots, and you separate them after you chop them. So the color is going to come up. Oh, I'll just put on this side. So, it's been about 30 minutes now, and you can see that the juices are starting to... Can you see? I just can't wait. Before I... Yeah. Okay, balsamic vinegar, garlic, shallots, they're all working their magic in here. Um, so, 30分鐘到之後啦,至少30分鐘你可以留佢一個鐘到。嗯,你聽到。OK。之後你轉咗你個pasta啦,咁呢。Now okay? after draining your pasta and letting it sit room temperature while this was, you know, doing its magic. So you're going to add the pasta to it. Do you as you can see. Okay. And then you're just going to fold it. So I specifically made sure that the pasta is not overcooked, not too soft. Okay, now you can see here, maman, maman, lower it So softly toss it. So during then, then, don't make the pasta too soft. Then, then, it's not too hard. Obviously, you can use a bigger bowl if you want. <laughs> Mine's perfect, perfect size. So just enough to put on the table, so you don't even have to change bowls. Huh? Can you have a bigger bowl? Ah, mom, this one, this ah, mom, good one, huh? Everything fit in here. See that? Then we're gonna take our basil leaves. Now, don't forget to wash them first. So we'll go do that first. Okay, you should smell it. So now I've pat the water dry. Okay, and just wanna sprinkle that on top. You can see now. Yeah. So just gently toss it through. So it's about one cup of basil, okay? Fresh basil. From a whole Now, you can put this, cover it up, and then put it in the fridge. And ta-da! Okay, you got that. 